Hi guys, I'm finally reviewing my Continental GT Royal Enfield which I have since 2 years. Well, the engine is 4 stroke single cylinder air cooled 535cc. The maximum power we are looking at is 29.1 bhp. That is some good power. And the ignition system is digital electronic ignition. And definitely the fuel supply system is a Kahin electronic fuel injection which we are very very happy with. If you're looking at the compression ratio it's 8.5 is to 1 which is pretty pretty good for a 535cc motorcycle. The old school cafe racer style fuel tank holds a capacity of 13.5 liters for petrol. Well these 240mm disc single piston floating caliber brakes have performed really well. And if you're talking about Pioli shock ups, they are pretty sick and they have never given me any trouble. The Brembo 300mm floating disc, two piston floating calipers have never given me any trouble till now. They are pretty amazing. The Pirelli Sport Demon tires are very well gripped. Well, the 41mm forks are 110mm travel and they are little shorter for the ride. So whenever you're going through bumps, it does make a noise. And the headlamps are 12 watt H460 is to 55W and the side indicators are pretty cute. The retro style speedometer also consists of one odometer, trip A, trip B and a fuel level indicator odometer mode. On the sports style clip on handlebars, the right hand side, we have the ignition kill switch, we have the headlight switch and the main ignition switch. On the left hand side of the clip on handlebar, we have a pass through, high beam, a dipper, a left and right indicator and the horn button along with a choke button. The key ignition switch is pretty smooth and very easy to operate and also used for handle lock. These mirrors are my personal favorite. As you can see, they look small but they can still give you a view behind. I'm standing literally 2 to 2.5 feet away from the bike and you can see me talking so it's pretty visible and I recommend this for the styling as well. The ground clearance of this bike is 140mm and the height is 1070mm without mirrors. The weight of this bike is 184 kilos and the length of this bike is 2060mm with a weight of 760mm. Well the speedometer ring keeps popping off my bike. This has happened twice and I have changed it twice and I cannot keep spending on this so I let it be off. This happens due to high speed vibrations. Well I want to demonstrate the right form on sitting on this bike. I sit like this and it's called the arch back or the straight back and I don't have any shoes on my back. I find this form incorrect because it can hurt your back or your shoulder on longer rides. This form is, I call it the drag form. If you use it, you need to be an expert. It's very easy to remove the seat if you want to put a longer seat. There's a cable below the cover. You just pull that and the seat just pops off. It's not like any other Royal Enfield where you need a spanner or some tools to remove your seat off. And even it goes back very easy, like a snug fit. Now I'm gonna talk about the foot pegs. They're pretty good, but these sharp edges can kind of leave a bruise behind if you're wearing shorts on a Sunday wash. So I recommend please wear some pants or shoes. Hey guys, I hope you liked the review. Um, though it was short, please subscribe to my channel if you really like the review. It's right there. Just press that button and subscribe. And I'm sure I'll give you the best videos for all bike lovers and everything about my lifestyle or anything whatever I can capture. So please, please, please subscribe. Thanks a lot. Take care.